you know, uh, I joked about I joked about this fuel pressure regulator uh, making 80 pounds, missing the entire adjustment screw. I joked about there being a valve spring in it, and I cracked it open, and uh, this is what was in it, and <laughs> it feels like a valve spring, and it looks like a damn valve spring. How funny is that? I hear crickets outside. So, yeah, the spring is comically tall. Uh, I took apart a Holly one that I had for fun. Uh, it's got this tiny guy in it, but then it has a cup and a different stem for pressure. And I didn't want to throw, like, make this one a throwaway and steal the parts. So I was like, well, I'll just cut this guy down uh, until... Because what you should have is a little bit of headroom and then, you know, a little bit of space until you can bring down the pressure stem this guy so you want to have a little bit of empty room empty like lash and then boom and then it starts pushing down on it so that's how i set this guy up and we're going to toss it back in i was just going to put the holly regulator on but all of my fittings are uh 10 orb to 10 uh fitting if you know what i mean so i have eights in out of the rails and then a 10 out so I have nothing, this is like an 8 thread, and then I would need a 10 fitting. So I need an 8 to a 10, and I don't have any of those. And, you know, that's where I'm at. So we're just going to cut this guy down for a fun experiment and uh, see if we can get something and get our pressure under 80 pounds because I'm assuming it wasn't returning at all. Uh, my return line was loose right around my flex fuel sensor. And nothing was leaking. So, my assumption is it was hitting the 83-pound internal bypass on the fuel pump. So we're going to put that guy in and try to get 40 out of it. And we'll see what all this uh, flip-flap did. Maybe I'll take a measurement of how, how high this is and take the other one apart. And see how much we cut out. But I cut out uh, all of these coils out of it. Uh, just I went slow. So there's probably two, three, four, four whole coils if you add all those guys up. <laughs> so that's the amount I had to cut out of the spring to get it to have some uh, end play, which I'm assuming will give me, uh, you know, the 40 pound resolution I'm looking for. So <laughs> I wanted to show that off. And then, uh, yeah. And then I think I might thread this to 8th inch. Because this is some weird... It's like a 16th, but it's not fine thread. It's got this huge, like, deck screw thread. Anyway, I think I'm going to drill that out and go 8th inch. So that's a nice... Uh, fix for this guy so I did uh, it comes up to a 10 and a filter underneath and then it splits to a Y fitting and then it goes to back of both rails comes out the front I got a fuel pressure guy hidden in the end of that rail and then going into the PQY regulator with the custom mod and I did a 10 return and then in the back do I have it open? Oh, no, I don't have it open. Anywho, in the back is where it goes through the flex guy. But, yeah, I dialed down to 40 pounds. Super nice. Very happy with that. Okay, thanks. Bye.